<laughs> Robbie, guess what? What? Brian, Brian our YouTube fan Brian, has made another t-shirt on the Zazzle website. Zizzle. Zazzle. Bedazzle? Super Todd. Yes. Wow. Yes. Super Todd. Thanks, Brian. You can order these from Zazzle.com and then type in the search window TNT Amusements. Why there's would whole, anyone do that? Well, there's a whole bunch of pe uh, people that like Brian's t-shirts and Brian takes the profit from that and then sends us stuff. Brian's very good to us. Thank you, Brian. That's really nice. I'm very happy. Yes, today we have quite the show for you today. We're going to be showing Dragon, Gottlieb's Dragon, and this odd it's update. Dragoon. Something Dragoon. happened, Dragoon. Yes, we do that. This odd thing they did to it, and it's really odd. Odder than you? But first, I'm going to open up. This is from Renee in Austin, Texas. He's a, a cop down in Texas that's buying games from us. He likes me and you. No, he doesn't. If he was here, I'd have him arrest you in a <laughs> second. And he told me he was gonna send us something. Is it good? Oh, yes it is. Is it nourishing? Ah, uh -oh. it is. Oro. Oro. That's coffee. It is. Instant coffee. It's All you have to do is add hot water. You don't even need to boil that. Oh, really? Do you know You don't brew it. You add hot water. Look, let me read it to you. Idiot! Well, you read it while I open the next one. <laughs> it's instant coffee. Me. Who, you. See, it's in, it's in Spanish, so that's why you can't read it. I had three oh. years of Spanish. Instructions I de uso. I know how to speak good Spanish. Listen to this. <laughs> I'm going to ask for a slice of pizza. Uno oh. bottolo de vino pronto fraulein. There you go. I took that from the man. That was from the man called Flintstone. Fred Flintstone said that. No, he didn't. That was from a feature he film, and I ever always remembered it. No, Robbie, look. This is good stuff. <coughs> In the spirit of Christmas, I'm using letterhead from my defunct business, Bill Barrett's Video Services. I'm sending chocolates to you guys to enjoy Libs Candies. Open that, Robbie. Is a local business here in Evansville, oh, Indiana. Hell, I'm Not home. Christmas here in Southern Indiana without Libs. These candies are a favorite for the family. My God, this is beautiful. And that's why I've decided to send to them. I hope you enjoy them. Best of luck to you. He's wishing us best of luck. And Bill's the one that bought that stunning space station. I'm going to keep Wasn't this Wasn't that beautiful? To done coffee. Wow. I edited that out, Robbie. No, you didn't. I'm not stupid. Wow. Well, good that's gosh. Debatable. Bill, you sent a whole bunch Whoa, of Oh, baby. Check this out. Cherry candies, milk chocolate. Oh, the boys are going to You know the nuts. chocolate turtles? These are awesome. Robbie, look at this kind of chocolate. I, I got to go for one right that's now. That's what's going to happen to your heart when you eat it. Oh! <laughs> Frank, please, I'd like to eat. You know. Wow, good God. Oh, my God. So you good. went all out. Jonathan, look. Chocolates. Wow! You just no building. Come over here. here. Jonathan, come over here and have one. What a rotten, miserable oh, so freaking Hold up, good. look, they're, they're turtles. He's a day late and a dollar. I'm just going to eat the top layer. The boy's going to have a little. Let one. me call your cardiologist. God, he's good. Mm -hmm. 1-800-DUMBASS. Oh, wait, Ben, how? Dumas. He's over to Kerbeck find another Lamborghini after fixing Todd's heart from the last time. God. Uh oh. Now, that is a beautiful area of Oh chocolate. my God. Now listen, other things we're going to cover. We gave away a whole bunch of free, well, we have a whole bunch of free pinball glass. What were you going to do? Um, nope, you can't have this one. You slop. Mm hmm. I'll take the one next to it. Anyway, free pinball glass, oh God, so a good. TNT, mm. clear, has scratches. We used to sell for $10 a sheet, $5 a sheet, now it's free. 
Mm. If you need some, you can come in and get some. Just like this guy, as you'll see. Two monster basses went out. We, we go over that footage. Mm. Mike's Arcade. He makes double Donkey Kong boards. If you send him your Donkey Kong Junior board, you'll get it back with two games in it. Ooh. Very reasonable. We're setting up an Elvira Premium. <gasps> a beautiful big guns pinball. Oh, I thought that was Elvira. I already covered Elvira. I know, but she has big guns. You know, Rob, there's time to do one that. of these. Oh. The first one. You remember this from I the other video? I thought that was video? her video. This is from the Billy Mitchell video. Tic Tac Strike Shuffle they also took from us. Um, somebody's game. Oh! Dave sent us pictures of his finished game room. He got those beautiful games and we sold How them. How come you never showed me? Because as you're going to see them now, you better be following this in the live chat. What live chat? You know, we do live chats whenever we broadcast this for the first time. Well, without any further ado, let's start the show now. Now, you know there's conjecture whether this game is called... Dragoon. Or what did you think it was it's called? It's Dragon. Don't you ever watch Game of Thrones? Dragon. It should be an E on the end. They misspelled it. No, that's gone. This that's was a bargain drag basement. Gone. This was a bargain basement. And this has been dragging on way too long. And the customer, Stupid. though, wanted us to put the LEDs in, which <laughs> we did. Now, oh, actually, it didn't start its life out here. Now, Stephen is filming. Do you see this right here? Yes. This game came from Stan Harris, and we still, I called up some old employees of Stan Harris and asked them why he would have filled this in, taken this whole mechanism out, and made it so you could roll through the lane up to the top. As a matter of fact, I have some footage to share with you now. And what was the answer? This is a Stan Harris dragon because of the scorecard. See that? And I want to show you what they did, okay? Because they did this to a totem we had. As a matter of fact, here's the totem video you can watch later. But first, I want to show you that Stan Harris, look underneath the machine, uh, Timmy's filming, made this enormous metal plate that covered the bottom because he was having problem here in Philadelphia where they were breaking in the bottom of the machine to get the money out. So all of his machines have these enormous metal plates on them. And because the on-off switch was pointed down, they moved it, they flipped it. Now the on-off switch is in here, which does the store owner no good. But we're gonna take the metal plate off and fix it. But here's what I wanted to show you. Now, the Varia target on this game, there's two, one and two. Here's the Varia target. It's so easy to fix and adjust. But what we don't understand, we don't actually... I was going to show them the good one and then the bad could. one. We could show. Because what I'm going to show you today is, is unusual and you may run into it. Notice the very target is here. It goes back. Okay. And then when the game releases it, it may release it if I start it. Let me see. It did. It almost did. Let me try it again. Because I think I can... Yeah, really. Oh, it's, it. it's really seen it. Come on down. It won't go on the down. Anyway, we haven't adjusted it yet, but there's the very target. Big hole slot. Very target over here. But look. Look. The hole has been filled in. They've rigged up like a wire, a piano wire. They put a rollover in, and look, this rollover scores three thousand points and it, the ball now comes out the top okay comes out the top now what on earth could have been going on I called one of the men that worked in the electronics department for Stan Harris for some 25 years and he said he vaguely remembered it and he thought he thought it was because the very targets were undependable and I said no 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 they're very dependable very easy to adjust so Let's look and see what they did underneath here. That's all right, it'll be fine. Now, 
Oh, they're in the process of changing one of the coils. There's the Varia target, Timmy. It's screwed into the bottom. So you wouldn't forget it. And look, up here, there's the sensor strip screwed to the playfield with the screws that holds the Varia target in. So in fact, they could hook it back up and look, they've taken a wire, they've put in a rollover switch in a place it was never there before. So essentially, we knock that, that out, Tim. We that take putty. the switch out. We reattach that to the side. See, this is where it's supposed to attach. Look right here on the other side. See? This is so the very target can move and record. I think the game will work again, Tim. I think it'll be fine. This is another contact switch. We're not sure where this went. We're going to have to figure it out. Oh, I know. It, it probably yeah, it went in there. The bottom. It went through here, right there, Timmy. See the attachments? We'll where knock that hole went. out. And this switch goes through there, and it's a points switch. They put Bondo in it. Look, that's a points switch. Sweet Bondo. So, Timmy, do you think you can handle this? Yes. Okay, let's see your progress. Well, how about if we see the progress the boy is making? Because these clod hoppers did these stupid things to this machine, and now we have to fix it. Well, they must have had a reason, and I was hoping to know. Ah, we have updates now, don't we, Timmy? Yes, we do. Now, Timmy has spent hours readying this and showing you. Where's the original thing that came out of the hole? Uh, what? Oh, right here, sir. Okay, let's see. Put it right there, young man. Go ahead. Oh, and I'll, uh, here. So it can easily be fit right back in. Let, let me open it up for you so I can show you what the they way. had under there. No, it goes the other way. Yes, sir. That's yeah, now, works. but before you do that, let me just show you. Timmy has, gee, we're changing the post because... Uh, we, I had to, we're I had going to. with clear. Now, some people are upset over clear. I'm going to tell you why. Here's, here's a crappy one. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why we're using clear. And you're going to see it right here. Look. Now, doesn't that look nice? The LED goes through the clear, and it lights it up nice. And, and it gives more light to the play field. The white ones just sit there and go, ugh. They just sit there and go, ugh. As you say. It's and ugly. you know what? If you don't like it, then do it your way. But this is how we're doing our games, right, Timmy? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Where'd you get that neat hat? Oh, you can buy this on our website. Ah. Go to tntamusement.com. We sold com. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. We're, we're down to one red and black hat, but we have to order before we Expo. We have to get more. Okay. Okay. Right, let's see underneath. <laughs> I took this uh, off. The, the game is not happy. This, now, the switch is we do know right. what happened here. What they've done is they've wired this here. These wires Let came me, off of... Sorry. Yeah, he's changing views here. He doesn't like to put it up to his eyepiece. Uh, he's taken the wires off of here. So every time this touches, it gives you the maximum, 3,000. Okay? So they basically took the wires here off of this lug and this one and will be easy to connect. The double wire goes here and the single wire goes here and then the Varia target will work correctly. Again. And we took it Once out the bottom. Yes, he's removed the, the, it. The so Varia target is over We also had a dead here. pop bumper. Yes. So that's all going to be fixed very soon. While this is open, I wanted to point something else out to you. This did not get the fuse so the fuse that protects this transformer, uh, I think all of you have been aware of, people have to find these. When Gottlieb realized that this transformer wasn't fused, it seems like once out of every, uh, one, every half a million times you turn the game on, that transformer, for some reason, overheats or something. And then if you leave it on, it'll smoke and that'll be the end of it. But if you put the fuse in, the fuse blows, the transformer is saved because the transformer is off now. Put the fuse in, and then the next time you turn it on, it's okay. I don't know what, what the deal is. Well, you want to take Mr. Camera and knock out the rest of the hole because I was waiting. Oh, for he's waiting for me. I'm trying to give him some learning experiences. Oh, they'll learn. They'll learn. Of course, Timmy hasn't taken this part off yet. No, definitely not. This is coming off. We'll be putting strips in. And we'll be sticking a strip right here. How I got this out is I chisel out the top, and luckily they didn't have anything Below uh, it. stuck stuck in here so that the the bondo stuck to it. So all I had to do was 
hit it a couple of times Good. and shove through. Just like and now he's going to finish this piece. This is where the switch goes through. The game is unhappy. That's the other spinner target on the other side. And once again, it we're would back be, to original game. It, and it would be nice if anybody knows why anybody would take that switch out. Oh, oh. show Singer plastic. Oh yes. Uh, you can put it on, on now. Do you have a? Do you uh, have the original? Yeah, I got, no, I have the, the little rubber. No, oh, no oh. the ugly one that hasn't been cleaned. That's the one it cleaned. That was the one with the tape on it. That had the tape. Right oh there. yes, he covered this so it didn't say light. See, he covered this part up so it just said light spinning target. So uh, now it's been cleaned off the plastic. Screen. And here's the, here's the other it's one. Good as now. It'll look nice. Show, show that it has. Well, that one will go here. He hasn't cleaned it yet. No, Actually, no, 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 yeah, there's a big difference when you clean the plastics and shine, of course, and color and lighting. It's coming along nice to me. Well, I had to wait so we can do the instructional. Yeah. Uh, I guess well, the next thing you'll see is us putting... Yes, yeah, so we'll cut back. Timmy, you won't be here, though, will you? No. By the way, it's Sunday. That's why I just came from church. And so what was the answer? We don't know. Nobody, nobody knows why they did that. Brilliant. They, well, they left the mech in there, so we were able to restore it. So there are two of these Vera targets. Actually, we what have did you a call them? Ver Vera target. V a r i target. <laughs> Is that something you made up, you idiot? You know, Rob. You're really close. I don't see it. doesn't say Veritarget on here anyway. It doesn't say here. What we call spinning target. That's, <laughs> that's this one. There it is. Veritarget, you fool. Look, come in. Come in, Stephen. That's Veri targets. Veri. It's French. Robbie, when this game came out in <laughs> October of 78, you know they made 6,538 6, of them. But 3,985 were shipped overseas. They never came into the country. And only 2,550. Where were they shipped overseas? Everywhere. They went to England. I don't think they Australia. made it. I think the Nazis must have sunk that ship. They never made it. Well, some of them came back. If you ever get a Gottlieb game in, and the, uh, logic, the, uh, the lockdown bar says re imported or imported or. Uh, to buy Spin it out! Something like that. Then you know it went overseas. Wallace, can you turn your record player down a little? I mean, come on. Eh. I mean, don't you see we have a life here? And Scotty, are you still sitting there? What happened? Nothing. Scotty's not feeling good. Scotty's not feeling good. Anyway, wah, wah, wah. Back, uh, they made, this is the era where they actually made mechanical versions of this thing. In other words, the, the displays in the back weren't electronic, but they were mechanical, and they spun. They, they would turn, the numbers would turn 500 and, what was it, 508 of them. Uh, some people, Gottlieb was convinced that some of the old players would not accept digital equipment. And uh, so they, they made a few. I've never seen them. I'm sure there's a few out there. there. I don't know how many of these are left. A lot of Gottlieb System ones got thrown out. We threw out a dozen, probably three dozen of them, because the connectors rotted away and the boards went bad, and, and they were only worth three or four hundred. We used to sell these things working for three or four hundred. So that, that was the fate of a lot of Gottliebs, unfortunately. Hmm. Rob, this try to stay awake over there, buddy. It's been restored. Now, I want to show you some things. Um, we already shared with you uh, what he did with the, uh, the lighting. Uh, that was my Timmy. See, Timmy worked on this. I want you to see why we like clear posts. Come down, Stephen. There's the clear post. It reflects the LED, and the post assumes the color of where it is. So we have blue here. We have the white here, the warm whites here. Okay, we've added a light here to light between the flippers so you can see better. Um, it, 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 I guess the game's brilliant. It's beautiful. You know, Rob, we need another cap. We, you want to get another cap? This that. doesn't have anything on it. We need to have Should one have that has star? something on it. 
It can't say a thousand because see these points, Slacker. these are worth more points. Now, Gottlieb did a couple of interesting things. I need to show you some things. First of all, the system one, this is a Rockwell board system. When no one's playing the game, yeah. if you hit the switches, can you see a flicker? Yep. See that? I went to a location. It's flicking. Uh, where Gottlieb Rockwell boards were there. It was the Spider Man. Spider Man Rockwells do the same thing. If no one's playing it, the switches make it flicker. I watched the girl. It's flicker if it flickers. Repeatedly hit the start button on a Spider Man for 10 minutes. And finally, the friggin' game started. I, I couldn't believe it. So. She just sat there and went, yeah, if I hit it, it's going to start. But she just went, duh, 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 duh. and we saw the flicker, and eventually the thing started. This is great. Well, I wasn't happy, and I said, well, how did you find that out? And he says, oh, well, we were sitting here one day, and we weren't doing anything, <laughs> and we just, I just was hitting the button, and then suddenly it started. And that's so great. So, you have 15 or 20 minutes to hit your start button, see if it works. You lost a whole quarter. You were furious. Guess who would be? Um, we sold this clay field as is, but all the electronics are done. Uh, the uh, uh, customer wanted to save the money. He liked the, the interesting scratching. It's very interesting scratching. And uh, it saved him from the extra time because Stephen would normally fill in all these. Um, no, he wouldn't. Hey. That's, that's impossible. Can I? Please. Yeah. Oh! Thank oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Anyway, Stephen takes good care of us with this. Class. This has too much to do on this one. Look, I want to show you something. The original instruction cards. If you have the three ball side, the rules are such. But if you flip the card over, the rules change. They, uh, they accommodate five ball play. The game becomes a little harder. And then the rules vary. This is true with all System 1 games. It's actually quite nice. Now, in this game, A, B, C, D, rollovers, add bonus. They add the bonus here. Mm. Okay? And scores 500 or 5,000 points when lit. So if it's lit, you get 5,000. When it's not lit, you get 500. The A... Sure. Lights the two times bolt bonus multiplier. The AB, if you have AB, you go up to three. Okay. ABC will go four, so if you get all these four, and D will pop it up to five. So if you only get D, no bonus. Now, what was really unique on this game is this. You see how the bonus starts at 1,000, 2,000, 2,000. When you get to this, the 6,000, this will light the left target. Suddenly, that light will come on only while it's at 6,000. And if you hit it, you'll get an extra ball. If you bump one of the bumpers again, it goes to special. Okay, so the special is this roll over here. Okay, and then this one lights the right target and that light will come on. So it's just these three. And then when you pass it, then it continues. I, I thought that was kind of neat. Now, look at this spinner in the middle of nowhere, Rob. In the middle of frigging nowhere, okay? Uh, they just, let's put a spinner. Let's put a spinner here, okay. That changes over the rollover spotting light. See, these lights will move. Put your cards in the light, can't you? Oops. There you go. These, oh, I, Everybody I'm, missed it. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right, the bonus is scored and featured. Oh, okay. This uh, I wanted to tell you about these. Uh, if you get the A, they'll light the A, and of course accordingly, and then this will move them. Now, thousand points if they're not lit. Five thousand when they're lit. You can rack up a boatload of points. And look, one, okay, thousands. You get one thousand if you only go up to here on the Vera target. Okay. The game's now un unhappy with that. It doesn't like this setting. Okay, can you hear the clicking? The two gives you 2,000, and the three, not only do you get 3,000, but it lights the spinner. It's ditto on this side, too. Do we cover everything? Not many rules on the system one, but they're still solid. Aren't they, solid. Frank? 
still trying to wait and figure out what the lights flicker in the display has to do with being able to get a free game. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no. I, you, no, no. I, your actually, train of thought's still boarding at the station. Well, okay. Actually, oh, actually that was one mean. thing I don't I loved know. it. The way you started the story, you were like, it sounded like the Rockwell engineers were there. No, the Rockwell. No. <laughs> He's it's flustered. A, it's, a shit, uh, it, it's a bad design. Okay, but... You were talking about the lights flickering. Yeah, like that. Then you started going, yeah, okay, well, what does that have to do with being able to get a free game? What's the rest of the story? Well, what, Was it a design flaw? Did they, yeah, okay, I mean, what is it? would be a design flaw. But I wanted people to see that every other game, when you roll push Great. switches, you know how many people are going to break their playing. system when play field glasses now because they're taking the glass off? No, no, no. If you hit the start, zipping that listen, glass if you have no credits in your game and you start hitting the start button, these displays will flicker. Okay. And eventually it'll start. Wow. You sit there like an idiot. That sounds like something button. you would do. Spend 20 minutes to save 25 cents. That's exactly something. Wow. Back then, 25 cents time. was 25 cents, Rob. We got it all these wonderful new games. Look. My question is, why do I have the camera, Frank? Because you volunteered. No, I didn't. You couldn't see me. I didn't want this. I did a better Don't job. Don't lie to everybody. Did. Look, this is a Monster Bash limited edition, and that's the topper. Nobody's home. We also got a Monster Bash regular edition. And, oh, he's setting up an Elvira premium. That's why the topper is four hundred dollars at three hundred fifty. Scotty's working. Look at him. Put it in. All right, Clark. You're gonna make a nice bookcase out of that, Frank, for your mm -hmm. stupid manuals. Yeah. Our our new pinballs. Those come, keeps you from fishing through the. Or new pinballs. Stephen could use Frank, it and put his paints in there. Where we get the new pinballs from? Mm -hmm. One of the nicest guys the on the freaking guy. planet Earth. Mr. Dodona. That's Mike, Mike Dodona and Automated. He will talk to you directly on the phone. Or Kayla. Or Kay oh, Kayla has this beautiful yep. daughter who's now working there full time. She will definitely take care of you, give him a call. Yes, you can. And we can also arrange where we can get a game and deliver it for you from Mike. So all that is available. And, and it's because A, I'm great, and B, Mike's great. Mike's great. I don't know about you. Guys. And you're Maybe not. you should watch Mike and learn something. <laughs> oh, Mike has got all this money and I don't have any. Here, Robert. That's because he's not stupid. Let's program it. <laughs> oh. The game is ready. <laughs> Launch the ball. <laughs> he is on. The little things aren't tweaking, Robbie. Clark. <laughs> B, we hit B, but look. Oh, it nothing. didn't do anything. Because it's not going to help. G, maybe things will be better. But look, if I hit D, mm -hmm. look, I got 5,000 points. Nice. Slip, but look, I only get a lousy nothing. But look. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I managed to light another light. I got D lit. There, see? There you know. Because, no, no, if I hit this, it lights it. It spots it. See, it spotted it. Now look. Little light, how exciting. This light is on because look, it lights special. So if Mr. Ball goes through here, yeah, and I'm up to 9,000. See, now look, this will spot, oh, we already added it out, so we, we have to do it in order now. So we need A. A is critical. Now watch, when I do A, it's going to go right to 5. Boom! 5, and look, I'm going to take Mr. Ball. Nice. How's the skill shot work? There is no skill shot. Whoa. Yes, the deal was he got the original board, so it's all original. <laughs> no, thousand. Ah, did you hear it go bunk, bunk, bunk? And no. the same as here. Can you give us that one more time? Bunk, bunk, bunk. I'm just getting one. I'm just getting one. You're good. Now, oh, I gotta tell you, I never forget this one guy called on a service call. He had one of these slingshots that had no coil in it. It was just the point switch. Well, it's like the soul is coil. Oh! Doesn't work! Doesn't! I, I just get point! And I couldn't get him to understand it was just a stand up switch. Come over here, young man. It's just this stupid stand-up switch. But this one has this. And yes, Frank just mentioned the screaming match we had with a man that bought Bally Radical. 
and the Bally Radical removed the entire slingshot mechanism from the production run. Apparently, the but the dimple holes were there in the playfield. Up top, they had another slingshot, and they, they took it out. Either the game was too fast, or they were trying to save some money. Who knows? But only the, the initial machines got it made. And he was convinced we took out the mechanism. And I said, please look at the playfield. Please look at the holes. The holes have never had a screw in them. It's never had a screw in them. No screws in them. That's all you got, huh? You put anything in your mouth, won't you? Almost anything. Mostly his feet. Oh! I could still get my toes into no, my I mouth. Know that. How do you think I trim my nails? Because you're trying to do something else. He's picking his toes and he shakes hands with you. Well, what else would you do? Oh. Stephen, Stephen is shaking his head. He's disgusted with me. Everybody else is too. He thinks I'm fat. Well, ugly. He doesn't think it. He knows Huge. it. Huge, stupid, gigantic, enormous. Don't stop there. Oh, I, I okay, was trying uh, to get this. No, it won't stay in there. McCracken. Release the McCracken. Godzilla like. You know, this, I like this dragon. close to cat. I like. I'm going to play one ball. This is very dragon. No, not completely stupid. The fun I'm having. Oh, 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 oh! Ah! I missed it. Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! I, I hit it just as it moved. This is a stupid piece of crap. Jump. I'm not hitting anything now. You stink. Who would want this? I mean, what a great game. You can't say that. <laughs> Listen, everybody knows I'm just having fun. These games were players' games. And you know what? The play field is held up beautifully. It still has a shot on it. I thought that was off the top of your head. Did you pick that up on the camera? The top of your head. The top of your head. Nothing. Remember, A. B. C. Okay, and D. Ha ha! So I don't have to do it. I can do it from here. And then move as you see fit. They never all come on at the same time. Okay. Well, listen, there, there may this be has over 6,000 of these stupid things. How many are out there? Twelve. Have you played one? Probably not. We haven't had any. This is our first video. I never saw first. one. I haven't seen anything. You didn't even remember what we, we, we you saw last <laughs> week. Do you remember the Starblade video? You didn't even remember the name of the game. What was the name? Oh! All right, listen. Put a scratchy glass on that. Listen, if you want free, you have to come here, though, and I'm not bringing anything wrapping. I have free playfield glass with scratches. So if you want to come and get some free glass, we're not giving you bubble wrap. We're not carrying it out to your wretched car. But you can come in and we'll give you some free glass. We always have glass because we're always ordering new glass. And we'll give away the old glass. We'd like to get rid of it all at once. I usually, they usually put it up on the greenhouses, or as we call the greenhouse effect. Frank, how are things coming with the road show? How are things coming with the Operation Thunder? We only have the dumpster now. Oh, God. Dumpster. Jonathan, is that game ready? Let's go up front real quick. Let's see. Let's see. Put your radio on. Wow. Is this ready? Idiot has left the building. We should be so lucky. Oh. Let's go. Does it work? No. It's in the curtain here. I can't find curtain. It doesn't know what's in there. Probably it's not on the sides. Oh. They want to see it. By the way, did you notice 
but light, high level lighting goes shuts down. So if you take the glass out of the back, you're not blinded. Like the gate. Right, let's see what that is. Oh, there we go. Now it'll come out. Oh, isn't this nice? Now, I did film a lot of Elvira at the Pinball Expo, but we discovered that the music playing in the background, the DJ was playing, uh, killed the copyright, so I couldn't run the footage for it. So uh, we're going to do a video. Don't you worry, you're pretty little head. This is the premium edition. So this is the cheapy one. It's got a lot of stuff on it. This is so nice. Robbie, who's up in that house? Let's get started Ooh. today. That's right. She's asking for you to shoot for that. Because I guess that's the lights on, but it's more or less pushing here. There's a lot of stuff. And look, you can use this button to launch the ball. No, I guess you can. I thought you could. Yes, you can. Oh! oh! He said jump. So we really have to do a video. It's a proper video. How many of these have we sold? A thousand of them? Two thousand. Just today. Three thousand. Our first one. I'm supposed to get bikes out buying a new Lamborghini today. Oh. That's why we haven't had a photo. Oh, look. Tele Telefoolish. This screw tips the creep factor scales at about a 50 out of 10. Time to remove this experimental team from my house. That, that woman is so, so special. She really is. What a, what, a, what a wonderful woman. Anyway, we have to give this a proper play. Oh, look, Rob. They've kept the uh, Elvira Scared Stiff, the video before that. This one right here. You see how the lights here are pulsing. That was a ballet game, but I'm glad to see that they've retained some of that. And look at this beautiful high def display on this TV set here. Yeah. It's nice. We'll have to go around it and see what's going on with it, Robbie. Stephen, are you looking forward to playing it? Sure. Thanks for the quick I feel response. Like the camera, <laughs> Listen. Now this right here. See this man? This is Tim. How you doing? And he saw my video, obviously, on YouTube. Yeah. On YouTube about the free pinball glass, and he has grabbed ten glasses. That might be a little more. Now, even though we advertised them free. Didn't the video say something about bringing me donuts or coffee or something? <clears throat> you brought me Rice nothing. cakes. I would have brought you pretzels. I didn't know. Nothing. You don't need donuts. I'm sorry. Now, because he didn't do that, what do you think I should do? Uh-uh. Oh. Yes, that's what happens. We have more there, don't we? Actually, more, Rob, yeah. Brother Rob just broke one. One was broke, but there's more. Maybe we should show up. Sweeping the mess he made because of you. Sorry. I should have never came. <laughs> Please forgive me. Let's see what Brother Rob has to say. What, 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 what's, what's going on here? <laughs> My free glass. What happened? What idiot would have smashed? This one over here. Did you break my beautiful glass? He's not going to turn around and look. He's mad that you broke it. You're making him clean it up. I wouldn't turn around either. If he turned around, I think he would give me this picture, this image. Well, there's one free glass you're not getting. I still have more. He breaks it and makes you clean it up. I can't believe you'd do that. I'm sending this to the. <laughs> you can't sure say that. I had to boot that out. You again. Jonathan, how are we going to get all these games done? More employees? Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, which one was this? Monster Bash. No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, special edition. 
This is the special edition, not the limited edition. And this is going to a customer in Rydal. Right. Right. Nearby. We just opened the box up. Look at it. There's nothing on planet Earth like brand new. You know what else I like? We can see the creature. It's crystal clear. And I mean crystal with a K. Did you play it? No. Did you put, put balls in it? Balls are in it. Ah! Put it on free play. Ah! Ah, the creature's off the night. But music is made. Well, it's working. What a parcel! Now, isn't that a nice effect right here? Do you see that? No, watch. See, the old machine couldn't do that. They can't have the color changes. There's so many things. And see, the old machine, I could get it up there. Yeah, it's the color telescreen is beautiful. Oh! oh. Well, you know what, Jonathan, you weren't here when people went nuts in this game. We're digging through the hole, but they didn't make many of them. Because Pimple was dying at that point, John. And it hasn't died anymore, has it? Nope. And it's out, it's up, and alive. And it's beautiful. This game, this thing has to go out, John. You better be able to get this delivered too. And that shack attack. Okay, this is now um, almost ready. I want to just go over. I want to go over all the switches before before we close it up. But we're done filming. I wanted you to see Mike's arcade. This wonderful man uh, we're working on it now can take a Donkey Kong Junior board and convert it to a double Donkey Kong. He can't do it with a Donkey Kong because there's not enough memory or something. Uh, but Probably this is a double. This is going, this is Richard May in England who's watching now. This is your board. We're going to put it in. And he's added these extra boards. High score save kit. I'm sure that's what that is. Yes, Braze Technologies. Oh, thank God Braze Technologies was there to do all this. So th this is going in. And... You didn't point these out. Well, no, we didn't do a video on it yet. We are just pointing the camera to it. Well, we were talking about the stuff that... We're not doing a video on that right now, though. So yeah. we're not doing that. Okay, let, 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 Robbie, let's get back to square one. What, 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 what was, what, Robbie, what was square one? Your head? Okay, thank you, Michelle. Michelle is going to get Kurt. These people have waited... Patiently. Months, waited... Now they are getting the nicest big guns on planet Earth. It really is. We have a red display back here, an LED display. Okay. It's not orange, but it's red. It suits this game perfect. Uh, the, rather than the old glass display, we've changed that. Doesn't that look nice, Michelle? Yes, it does. And don't you think the mixture here of coloring is extraordinary? Yes. The blues and the greens. Even our beautiful princess. <laughs> She's wearing our t-shirt. You have to buy my t-shirt. It's yes. perfect for women, too. I have me on the back. Oh, God, she gave Tim I hell I got a handsome guy on my back. She did. She gave poor Tim hell for that. <laughs> now, what we did to, to add some flavoring to this, we've put the orange here. Okay. He's also put super brights back here, so the back of this is lit much brighter than it was. I, I think it came out very nice. We did a lot of work to this thing. Now, I was talking to you earlier about the colors. See, these are clear. Do you see how they're glowing now because of the LEDs? And see how these clear ones are glowing red. 
Kurt, we were admiring how beautiful your game is. Kurt was working on this. This is one of, actually, Kurt, this could be the first one you've done all this work to since your heart attack. So well, it's a, more of a um, stents. He kept trying to make him t uh, work right next to his bed, pull up a pinball machine. Try it. You <laughs> kept trying. Tim. You're, you're just that so was, useless. I am. It's in the t type in the section below the hate. Yeah. Just thumbs down. I, I, I gotta show you the colors that we put in for the flash shapes because I'm very proud of them. Now, beet red up there, baby. Beet red? Beet red. And we have blue flash lights lower. Game is just so beautiful. Uh, the plastics are now protected forever with our um, washers here. The plastics were near perfect. Not perfect, but near perfect. Perfect enough, right, Curdy? Now we put bendies in here to light this. So when that pops up again, here, wait a minute. What, what brings that light on there? Well, here, let me load a bowl. Uh, we, uh, see, we, I wanted to share. Let me, let me do this again. Tell me, watch the light show here. Okay. See the blue? So, we lit, we lit our space shoulder up. Guess he's a space soldier, right? Uh, the boys made the shields different colors. Isn't it nice? A nice effect here. So we have red, green, and blue. I think we did a nice job on that. All right, let's go up here. Here we go. We got blue. That's it. Multi-ball. Now, look at how bright our Invincible, well, the Invincible only stayed up a bit. But that was nice and bright. See how bright that is? Right down the toilet. Then we got stuck right there. Oh, you know what? That's got to be bent in a little bit so it doesn't get stuck. Why? Why not coming up? Good. It's nice. You got red. No, no, no. You have to hit the troll. I know that. Right. Wait, wait. Darn it. There we go. Mr. Troll. We call him Mr. Troll. You want to hit all the switches. See Mr. Troll again. Darn it. Okay. I can't do everything. Do something. Uh, that we have to make an adjustment. Well, you get the idea. Now, these people also bought Tic Tac Strike. Kurt, we really should show them that. And we're going to do it instantly, like this. See, I instantly zapped over and I even did a change of clothes. Actually, it's the next day. This is going to be packed up tomorrow. Look at this tic-tac strike. It's beautiful. This is going out with the big guns. Uh, we went over the plate. He got a nice discount because we touched up some spots on the plate. You can't actually see them. They were touched up, um, which we normally don't do, but you just can't get the feels anymore. Can you? Just swing the camera around. I was playing some b-ball outside the school. Oh my gosh. There's some but kids no, up there. Let me show you. We did LEDs uh, that are lighting Tic Tac Strike. So it's brilliant. We also have all LED scoring. Brand new circuit board system in there. The pin sections are rebuilt. It's just amazing. As a matter of fact, uh, let me show you this. This is what the inside of one oh, of the pin good. sections looked before we got it. Now, if you would like to see how they look when we start, look, look. 
the grime and wonder. It's beautiful. This is uh, this machine is from a competitor who just sold it to a homeowner, and he said he went over it very carefully, right up to the rusty ballasts. It's not too bad, eh? He said he it, he did put a drop of oil in here to make sure this ran smooth. Huh? That is new. I'm just kidding. Now that wasn't this machine, but isn't that something? Unbelievable. You mean that you can't get rid of that machine? Oh, nobody wants it. That's a nice boat. I had two or three people. It's a, it's a three-man kayak. Why is it that It's people, a three-man kayak. Why is it that we have so many dreamers, dreamers, that want cheap stuff and still can't get the money together? I don't know. Anyway. Dreamers get coal for Christmas. They do. <gasps> Did you like the Billy Mitchell video? You have dreamers that work for you. Hold on. Hold on. Did you... Well, he's got no money either. Did you swing the camera over to show your... No, you didn't. You hate your brother, don't you? And I can hear the phone ringing early away. And ain't nobody picking it up. It's your wife. Oh, gosh, it could be. It's great. Remember? We had quite an adventure. With Olivia's. It's still on. Why don't you fix the picture on it like you do everything else? Turn it sideways. Well, you don't want what happened to poor Billy, do you? I was found. We, we did get him back. Bolivia. 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 Anyway, let's go back to the shop. Frank, I'm finally going to be the star of a movie. Right, Peter? Yes. Are you going to make me famous? I'm going to do my best. Uh, the movie is entitled Viva Film. And who else better to do that than me? I hope Viva Film has a huge budget. You need a lot of money. And Frank, look at this. <laughs> what do you think? Does this suit me? Yeah. Wouldn't want to leave you alone in a room with that. Oh! Frank, there's children watching. It's not a there's hobby. Children. It's not a sausage sandwich from up the street. Viva Film. And you know, we are celebrating film. Because I'm still running it here at TNT. Merrick, this is the Woody Woodpecker show. The a best part is when that whole reel ends up on the floor when you open up the steps to go. Oh, around. Frank, that doesn't happen often. Yeah, four or five See, times a week. <laughs> if the film does break, it does end up on the floor. This is film without the reel. This is on what they call a core. It's an easier, cheaper way to store the movie. And then you select it and you put it in a special reel, twist together, and boom, you can project it, take it off. However, it's not necessarily kind to film. It's always best to have it on a reel. Have you learned enough? And we, now we're filming. We're in a rush because i got to get Peter out of here. Or unraveled on the floor. That's another good way to store it. He better make me a star. I guess we'll Cut go soon enough. Got some fancy equipment here. I think so. And look, he's filming it in three dimensions. You need Two bigger cameras, cameras than that. No, one's an emergency. You have to space them further apart. I'll keep you posted. Look! Ha <laughs> ha! A new t-shirt with me on it. Listen. That's a definition of pompous of our shirt. <laughs> I hope you like the video, guys. Listen, we're gonna go, we're gonna end. Who is that? The Incredible Bulk? I could still do another eye poke! There we go, another one. Anyway, listen, we're going to end with a song from Tammy's album you haven't heard yet, unless you bought the album. She did that song from Tarzan, Strangers Like Me. She had to get permission to change it, because originally it's Tarzan singing it, and then she changed it so that Jane was singing the song. But they were it's got almost a half a million views. We're very proud of her. She also got... Uh, uh, Mike McKee, sure. who's the drummer for the group Delta Ray, who accompanies her in this. It's really neat. Delta Dawn? Delta Dawn. Ray. <laughs> anyway, very proud of Tammy. Half a million views, just about. Actually, when you guys watch it, it'll be half a million. The link's at the end. Good night, folks. <laughs>